Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I would like to talk to you regarding uh, SAM module on Mercedes-Benz. Um, these are non-serviceable modules and they cost anywhere from $500 up to like $1,200 to $1,500. This module, um, they say it's totally non-serviceable and needs to be replaced if it fails and uh, in this video I would like to show you how this module could be easily rebuilt and uh, be used again. This module came out of a 2014 Mercedes-Benz GLK 350. Uh, we had an issue where the cooling fan uh, didn't have uh, any power to it and uh, didn't work. The AC system has been charged uh, AC compressor would kick in, the cooling fan uh, still would not work. Uh, first we did, uh, obviously we thought it was a cooling fan module, which is mounted in the fan uh, shroud, and uh, that wasn't the case. Uh, so next I went ahead and uh, I put my scan tool and I noticed there was no power going to the module whatsoever. So what we did, we took out an SAM module, it's uh, located in a passenger side uh, next to the battery and uh, it's got all these terminals here. Uh, this module, if something fails inside the module, it's a throwaway device. But believe me or not, this is a very easy fix. First I did, I went ahead and I'm going to flip this over and show you. Uh, it has these kind of clips all the way around. And uh, this is when where you hook up your positive battery terminal when you jump starting your car. So I went ahead and very carefully pulled out all the clips and I'm going to open it for you in just a second. This is what it looks like inside and I already disassembled it and I'm going to talk about it in a second. As you can see, these fuses you will not be able to buy at the dealership, uh, but they're all bolt-on and they're very easy, easily um, replaceable. So when a uh, dealer tells you you need a new module, all he's going to do um, eventually send your old one to get refurbished. And the company will open it up and replace the non-serviceable fuses. Because these fuses you cannot change yourself. So next what I did, I took, the, I took my multimeter and I checked continuity between every fuse to see if I had good continuity. And as I went by and I noticed that on one of the fuses, um, I didn't have any continuity so I actually disassembled it and this is already all disassembled for video purposes um, they all have these yellow covers on it on the fuses and you cannot open them but since I you know used the multimeter I noticed that this fuse had no continuity um, my other piece fell in here and I'm gonna take it out right there so it was, it was all sealed and closed like this uh, when I disassembled it. Um, so all I really need is one, it's a 100 amp fuse, all I really need is that fuse to get my cooling fan up and running again. Uh, I don't need to buy an $800 part, I could do this myself. Um, if you don't have the knowledge how to uh, rebuild the fuse, uh, you just want to go ahead online and search it and you could definitely buy the whole link like this. You can buy it probably anywhere from buck fifty to thirty bucks. Uh, all depends where you're gonna buy it. Um, if you're gonna buy it somewhere out of Europe, you might gonna have to wait for shipping, but you can buy it next to nothing. Or you could solder this fuse back up, uh, but you want to make sure you know how much to put solder on there. Since I have a uh, very good experience with electronics, I know how much solder I can put on there to make it a uh, hundred amp fuse again. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to resolder that fuse, I'm going to close the cap back up and put it all back together, and I'm going to have my cooling fan running up again. And uh, the problem will be fixed, it's going to cost me just my time. Once again, I appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, I'll be putting uh, videos daily. And once again, this was George with Melnix Automotive.